Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Luna and UST. And so everyone's got to be wondering, should I be buying Luna under one cent? And I'm going to be going through some detailed information. This may look promising if you're looking at the big picture, especially because Luna was trading over $100. But we need to take a deeper look at what is actually happening. So they are attempting to repeg UST. And so we're going to be going through that and looking at what is really happening behind the scenes and if there is any potential for Luna moving forward. And so if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. There's also a link down underneath the video to BlockFi where you can earn up to a $250 bonus in crypto. And you can also earn some interest on your crypto if you are outside of the US. And so make sure to definitely check that out as well. And as always, this is not financial advice. This is just my opinion. And so let's go ahead and get into it here. We're taking a look at Luna on KuCoin. And so we can see this is trading under one penny. It is at about a half a cent. And this has dropped off significantly. And so we can see this was trading around $120. And over the last couple of days, this has dropped all the way down to under one cent. And so a lot of people may look at this as an opportunity. However, there's two reasons for this. And that is what I'd like to go over for the potential for gains in Luna moving forward. And so the first one that is obvious is the reduction in the market cap. And so this was trading around a $41 billion market cap at all time highs here. And so right now there's a lot of money that has been selling out of Luna and there's currently $639 million. And so that is a massive reduction in the market cap, which would lead to a big reduction in the price. And so that's about 60 times less However, the price has dropped much further than 60 times less from $120. That means that it would currently be trading around $2. However, we are still under a half a cent. And so we can see here as well, the circulating supply of Luna is currently at $42.79 billion. And so this is the main reason for the big drop in Luna. We can see there was 365 million two days ago. However, today there is 35 billion. And just recently this has increased to 45 billion. And so that's why we are seeing another sell off on Luna as well. And so this is the main factor for the Luna price dropping significantly and very quickly. And so let's go ahead and take a look into this and see why they may be minting so many tokens. And so initially, if you were looking to sell UST, they use Luna as the mechanism for that. And so when Luna's price was much higher, say $100, if you redeemed one UST for $1 worth of Luna, you would only get 0.01 Luna. And so as the result, such swaps wouldn't have increased Luna supply by, by very much. And so that is the difference now, since the price of Luna is significantly lower. At the time of this recording, we have Luna at a half a cent and we have Terra USD here at 46 cents. And so this does not completely line up. However, we can see that there is a large amount of Luna that is being minted because of this. We can see even in this example, there is 10 Luna being minted. If somebody wants to cash out $100,000, that would lead minting of 1 million Luna. And so, however, at the time of this recording, Luna is currently trading around a half a cent. And so that means if you're swapping one UST, that would get you approximately 200 Luna. And so let's say somebody wants to swap a large amount, such as $100,000, that means a large amount of Luna would be minted. And so let's just take a look at this and put it into perspective. Currently, there is still a large amount of money on Anchor Protocol, and so there is $2 billion of UST still on here. And if all these people are interested in selling, they may be cashing out through Luna, and therefore more Luna tokens would be minted, therefore increasing the circulating supply and decreasing the price of Luna moving forward. And so this is definitely something to be aware of. It is obvious that the market cap has reduced significantly, and it may look attractive at a half a million dollars in comparison to the 40 billion that it was at. However, we have to take into account that the circulating supply is going to continue to increase here, especially as people are looking to cash out of UST. We can see there's 2 billion here on Anchor Protocol, and there may be more on individual wallets as well. And if these people are looking to cash out through Luna, there will be a significant amount of tokens that are minted for Luna, therefore increasing the circulating supply, and therefore this could decrease the price further. And so I definitely think that Luna could continue to fall. This is a very risky cryptocurrency, even though it may look attractive at its current price. I would be very cautious buying Luna moving forward. And so let's also take a look at the market cap here of Terra Luna. We can see that the market cap is currently at $5.4 billion and they have a circulating supply of $11.72 billion. And so their goal is to repeg UST to the US dollar. 
And so we can see there's a big gap to fill here between UST yen. So they need about $6 billion just to get this back up to a one-to-one -one ratio between UST and USD. And so again, as I mentioned, this is a very risky cryptocurrency to be buying right now, especially because they're going to be using this as exit liquidity. And so this cryptocurrency can continue to fall, even though it looks like it's already low. We saw a 99% drop yesterday. We've seen another drop overnight of about 99%. And so I think Luna could continue to fall. I would not be surprised if the circulating supply of Terra Luna surpassed 100 billion tokens. And so this is definitely something to keep in mind. I wanted to bring this to your attention just because I know a lot of people are interested in buying Luna and they don't want to miss out. They're like, oh, maybe I could buy Luna here and it could reach $100 again. That would never happen just because the circulating supply is increasing so quickly. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.